game. And you know what's weird about this? You know what's weird about this? I know. Saturday night in Tucson at the IBEW Halls. <laughs> you may think you are a minority. You may think you're on the outs. You may think, well, if I had, if I was part of something big, I'd be sitting home tonight watching Trump on TV. No, you are not a minority. The interesting thing is, the interesting thing is, that since Donald Trump has become president of the United States, and I, I still struggle with that term, but <laughs> since he's become president of the United States, do you know what has happened? Support for the Affordable Care Act has skyrocketed, right? It's really to the earth. It is now polling better than it has ever polled. It's more popular than ever. Six out of ten Americans now say they don't want to get rid of it. And you think, well, we wanted more, but at least they want something that's good. No. If you look at the new Pew surveys, if you look at the new surveys from a number of polling groups, which actually do something that, that is useful in polling, you don't just say yes or no, but you give them choices and gradations. You say, well, what do you want? Do you know what the number one thing, you know, remember, people want to say they don't want to get rid of ACA. There's a lot of variety within there. People do want to get rid of it. That's sort of one size fits all. So 30% of people want to get rid of it. If you may meet three people on the street out of the next 10 you meet, they will be awful people. Okay, you know, they want to take something away from somebody, and they actually believe in that, I don't want to pay for the sick person. Okay? Yeah. Maybe they're not awful. In yeah. fact, yeah. in their defense, maybe they just listen to Fox. Yeah. And, and they are confused. But the other seven people that you meet, six or seven folks that you run into, are in favor of what we've got or more. But here's the interesting thing. When they actually go down and they say, well, you know, how many is like the three bears, right? You know? It's too hot. It's too cold. It's just right. Well, you got the 30% that's, I guess, it's too cold, right? Then you got another portion, right? a little under 30%, that say it's too hot. Or that say it's just right. I'm sorry. They're the ones who actually really want, they don't want to change it. Maybe they've got a pre-existing condition. Maybe they've got a kid who's 25 years old, whatever. They want to keep it, right? But the number one grouping, the largest grouping in these new polls, the 38%, more than the other two groups, are the people who want to make it bigger and bolder and better. Wow. And so the most people, if you run into a group of people in America today, are the ones who favor the progressive Democrats of America position, which is ACA is a fine start, but we're not there yet. What we wow. need is a single payer plan, and what we need is to get the profiteers out of the room and get the people who need help into their doctor's offices, into the emergency rooms if necessary, but on to a program that actually takes care of them. Something radical, something unimaginable, something like, I don't know, Medicare. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>